Hey you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin coming at you with some wing stop wings. Please ignore my quarantine bangs. I decided to get the scissors out and snip my hair for some unknown godly reason. Young <laughs> Allah, why do I do this to myself? I'm kind of tweaking this recipe a little bit. I don't have wings, I've got chicken breast, so if you've got chicken breast, it's a lot easier to get hold of. If you guys want to know how to make some delicious, sticky, spicy, sweet, spicy wings, then just keep watching. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So we're going to start off with some chicken breast. Um, you can take some boneless wings, but I couldn't get a hold of any at the butcher, so I'm just going to use plain old chicken breast, which honestly tastes just as good. Um, I'm actually making the boneless wing stop wings because I prefer them a lot more than the actual wings. Um, so I'm just chopping them up into like two inch cubes and just placing them in a bowl for us to marinate. Now for the marinade, it is super easy. I'm just taking some sriracha sauce and some Frank's red hot um, hot sauce. And the sriracha has quite a bit of like garlic in there. So I feel like I don't really need much garlic and it honestly tastes so good. It's such an easy way to marinate. I'm also adding some pickle brine from a jar of jalapenos. And this tastes so good in your marinade. I mean, it really makes the chicken really juicy and I absolutely love it. So next we're just preparing our batter. So I'm taking some plain flour. I'm taking about four cups of plain flour. Then I'm just going to crush some black pepper corns and yeah, just using a pestle and water just to crush them. Once those are done, I'm going to take some garlic powder, smoked paprika and also some cayenne pepper for the flavorings of the flour. I'm just adding two, three tablespoons of black pepper. You can change this according to what you want. Um, I'm taking about two teaspoons of garlic powder and about two teaspoons of paprika powder. I kind of failed here. And then I'm also putting about two teaspoons of cayenne pepper as well. This gives a little kick to, you know, the fry. I'm adding a sprinkle of salt here. You can add salt to taste to your liking. Then I'm going to take two eggs and just whisk them up. I'm using chopsticks because I love cooking with chopsticks. I find them really fun and therapeutic for some reason. And then I'm going to put the chicken in the egg first. Then I'm going to cover it in the flour. Then I'm going to put it back in the egg and double coat it. And then I'm going to put it back in the flour. So that way it will give it a really nice crisp. Then I'm taking some vegetable oil and just filling up a pan. And then I'm going to fry the chicken off to a nice golden brown. You want to do this on, a, on like a medium heat for about... Five ten minutes. Um, it doesn't really take that long to cook, but you just want to make sure that it gets a nice golden color and the chicken goes nice and crispy. As you can see, they've turned a nice golden color now. So we're just going to take them out and then put them in, in a plate. I didn't bother um, soaking them in some tissue paper because we want that oil to help us bring together all the flavors in the sauce that we're gonna put on top. So for the sauce, I'm adding sriracha sauce. I'm just gonna add some water to that so it doesn't burn. And I'm putting this on a really low heat. I'm also going to add some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Some ketchup, about two tablespoons of ketchup. I'm also taking some honey, uh, two, roughly about two teaspoons of honey. My honey kind of crystallized here, but it's you can still use it. And um, yeah, so I'm just using that here. The sauce was kind of running a little bit hot. So as you can see, it's bubbling up but you just want to make sure that you don't let it burn. Um, so I'm taking this, some soya sauce. I'm taking about three 
teaspoons of soy sauce. You can add as much as you like. I prefer a medium amount of soy sauce. You can take more if you like it. And then some sweet chili sauce. I added about two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce and I love this. It just brings such nice flavoring to the sauce. And I'm just going to coat the breaded chicken in the sauce and just shake it all about make sure it's nicely covered as you can see the chicken looks fantastic you want to let the crispy edges soften down a little bit in the sauce that's what gives it a really nice crispy yet soft texture when you you know go in for a bite and as you can see that is all ready I'm going to finish off the chicken by adding some sesame seeds, the white sesame seeds on top. I'm also sprinkling some nigella seeds on top, some black seeds. And this really takes the flavour of the chicken to the next level. I absolutely love this. And then I'm going to garnish the chicken with some chopped spring onions just to give it a bit of colour and just mixing that really well and we're ready to serve so I'm just putting it in a little plate and adding some red chilies on top for an extra kick and that's it that is your wing stop wings sticky chicken whatever you want to call it um, ready Give this a try. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god. Just stop. This is delicious. You guys need to try this. Follow at the Round Road Club on Instagram. And make sure you hashtag Round Road Club when you try these dishes. This is absolutely delicious. It's so yummy. It's so tasty. It tastes a lot like the Wingstop wings. Um, I just added a little bit of a tweak of my own to it. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you want me to do next. Subscribe to this channel for more. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.